Hi everyone, this is Nicole and I am doing a little video about how we at Diana Initiative are going to do our hybrid, or apologies, our virtual speakers this year. So we'll give you a StreamYard link, which when you click it, it'll say processing and then it will ask you for what your display name is. Make sure you put in what you want the audience to see. This doesn't need to be your legal name or whatever. It could be your handle, whatever you're known as and you want the audience to be able to see. And you can see that it shows up here. You can see right here that it says my mic is working uh, and we can see me here. You could mute, but because you enter into a queue, that is not necessary. So what's gonna happen is first, you're gonna join a green room just so you can test out your mic sharing and everything else like that. Then 10 minutes uh, before your talk, you're gonna join when the prior speaker is finishing. Again, you enter into a queue, so that's not a big deal. So make sure this is all working. And you should have verified your settings uh, using the green room. So now I join the link for the actual live stream and I'm gonna say enter studio. Now that I've entered studio, it tells me that I'm backstage. So the prior speaker just finished and they are going to go away because they don't have Q and A's. And they've got the advertisements up there. Those would be for all of the sponsors. At this point, I need to get ready. So I'm gonna share, I can do it two, ways I can share my slides Ta -da. or I can share my screen. In either case, uh, I recommend making sure that you can see the private chat. And this is so that you can, comments are public. So you don't wanna comment in comments that goes out to the YouTube channel. You wanna comment in private chat to say that you're ready to start your talk whenever they are. You can see I've got my speaker notes up here, so I'm ready to go. Um, it's important to, if you can, have two screens so that you're able to see your speaker notes, your private chat, everything. Because I'm down here, this is the queue. So when I'm in the queue, no one can see or hear me, even though I'm talking and my mic is working. So don't worry about muting your mic or your video because I'm in the queue, I'm not live yet. So I've got everything ready. So I'm just gonna say, I am ready. And the MC should come on to introduce me. Thanks. There we go, I've got my slides. So this one is the shared slide deck, which means that here at the bottom, I can progress the slides by clicking these. Um, and so that makes it pretty easy, but again, can't see the speaker notes in here. So I've got my speaker notes off here on the other half of my screen. I happen to have a big screen. So I could go through, give my presentation. I might see uh, questions come through in private chat, or I might see my speaker wrangler saying, hey, you've only got five minutes left. Um, you know, that kind of communication. So try and keep an eye on it. And then when I'm done, oh no, 10 minutes left. Quick, go faster. So I go faster. Uh, now, uh, Jamie, can you switch me to the screen share out of the other one so I can show how that progresses? There we go. So with this one, it's sharing my entire screen, which is what I told it to do. So I go make sure this is full screen mode and it appears here on my screen. So your keynote or whatever, you can just get it to progress. And again, you can see that I've got my speaker slides going over here. Uh, so this one may be easier for you if you're not having two presenters share one slide deck um, just because these things will keep in sync and progress together. Uh, so, okay, I got 10 minutes left, I got to the end. I've worked out ahead of time with my speaker wrangler that they're going to pass me on any questions. So at this point I'll say, hey, do I have any questions from the audience? 
and the speaker wrangler should catch any of those questions. I have a lot of slides, sorry. <laughs> we'll get to the end. Uh, so I get my first question and I'm like, okay, the question is, we recommend you repeat the question out loud for the sake of the recording, um, as well as for anyone who maybe is not in the Discord who might just be watching the live stream. So the question is, you know, what is SAS? Well, SAS stands for Static Application Security Testing, and you use it for X, blah, 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 you know, whatever, whatever it is you need to say. Uh, and then you may stop getting questions. There may be more questions for you, but you may stop getting them because your time is up. So when your time is up, um, you're, you can either just close this tab in StreamYard. So all you need to do, you don't need to like exit, log out anything. You just close the tab, boom, you're gone, no problem. Uh, or you can get removed from stream. If you're going over, you might just get taken away. So uh, hopefully this is helpful. Please let us know if you have any questions and see everyone soon.